Later on, can I just point out that before we do move on, if you do decide to put yourself on your parents' insurance and you have a crash and the insurance company find out that it was really your car... Which they will if it's got a body kit on it. Or even half a body kit. Yeah. All right, <laughs> whatever. The point is, if the insurance company find out that it really was your car after all, they won't pay out. And then they can prosecute you and then you might have to go to jail and then one day you'll be in the showers and a big strange man will come. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, the point is, get yourself a beige Volvo, because no loss adjuster will imagine that's yours. Yeah. Uh, oh, now, hey, listen, while we were filming that, it was amazing how it sort of brought back all that excitement of when we first learned to drive, when we were 17. Yeah. And, you know, the driving test and passing it. Well, not passing it in your case, because what was it you did? Yeah. What do you do in a driving test if you don't pass it? Yes. You... All right, all you... I failed! You failed. failed. You failed. failed. First time. failed. Yes, I did. Failure. Yes, I failed. Why did you fail? Well, because uh, a traffic light went red as I was coming up to it, and the examiner said, proceed as you normally would, so I gave it a bootful. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably, you passed first time? No. Really? I failed. No. Yeah. You failed. What, you got lost? We were going along. And all of a sudden, he hit the dashboard with his clipboard and he said, Look out, there's a small child in the road. And I said, No, there isn't. And kept going. Because <laughs> there wasn't. So you were just being pedantic? No, I he was, was being correct. He was anticipating an emergency stop, not an argument, you fool. Was he? <laughs> yeah, that's what was going on. Actually... What? Well, while we're on the subject, at the other end of the scale from our failure, you turned up with a pair of scissors in your pocket, claiming it was ready to cut the old plates off your car. No, that's true. That's kind of optimistic. I didn't see it as a driving test so much as a confirmation of my excellence. Oh, God. <laughs> No, I mean, that's really what it was, because when I... And the thing, when he said, the man, whatever he was, the instructor, examiner, examiner. when he said, congratulations, Mr Clarkson, you've passed, what I heard was, congratulations, Mr Clarkson, you are the best driver I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. And so you can imagine my surprise, 36 hours later, to find myself in a field surrounded by sheep that were no longer alive and bits of what used to be my mum's Audi. <laughs> well, how did this happen? I'm the best driver in the world and I've gone and stuffed it. <laughs> Right, can we now do the news? Because yes, Because last yes. week we were talking about the government's scrappage scheme, which is important, and we got sort of distracted oh. by talking about playing croquet with tortoises instead. Dead tortoises. <laughs> anyway, we mustn't do that again, no. because it is, the scrappage scheme genuinely is important, OK? Because what's happening is, is to prop up the car industry, uh, the government is really encouraging you to scrap your old car and buy a new one. The trouble is that the cars people are buying are Korean, which means the government...